going to be busy. I don't know. Well, I'll see you at the dance. Okay. See ya. Nina, what's the matter with you? Nothing. I just don't want to go out with him, that's all. You waiting for somebody special? Well... Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I'm late. Sure, we've all been using the time to put those little finishing touches on our homework, huh? Yeah. Haven't we? Mm. Okay, first, uh, class electives. Last day for those is Friday. You have to get your forms into the office. Also, Mrs. Belli, she's called me again. Now look, somebody is putting cigarette butts in her flower pot. Every time this happens, she calls me, she chews me out like I'm the one that did it. So enough, let's give me a break, okay? All right, let's turn to page 34. Father, I have a question. Yeah, Ronald. The Post said it's a priest that's doing these murders of these women. Yeah, but the Post also says that the Pope is Jewish and is married, so... <laughs> <laughs> Nina? Um, well, how could it be a priest? I mean, you can't commit mortal sins, right? Well, I wish that were true, but no. We're human. We can commit sins just like anybody else. Well... If a priest kills somebody, can he still do the sacraments? Well, if he was really a priest, yeah, but... I mean, he can't be a priest who's doing this. I can see you're all concerned about this, but... Don't be. Just be careful at home. Don't let anybody into the house that you don't know. You'll be all right. You know this, right? All right, so... The sacrament we're studying today is... Confession! Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. 
It has been one week since my last confession, and these are my sins. I had a fight with my sister, um, three times, and I talked back to my mother, and, uh, I had some impure thoughts. I couldn't hear you. Impure thoughts. What do you think about when you have these thoughts? I think about being with somebody and giving myself to to him. Do you think about loving and getting married and having a family? Yes. That's good. Because if we think about sharing, which is something that married people do, that's that's healthy. What if we can't get married? That's difficult, because the act is sacred and it must be shared through the sacrament of marriage. But I can't stop thinking about it. Well, you're not alone. God knows we're all weak. That's why he gave us confession. Are you sorry for your sins? Yes. And for your penance, say an act of contrition and five our fathers. Remember, the Lord is full of mercy. Glory be to the Father. By the ministry of the church, may you find reconciliation and peace. And I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> when was your last confession? June 2nd, 1980. And what are your sins? <coughs> Impure thoughts. Do you act on these thoughts? No. Do you feel like you can't control them? how weak we all are. If you keep having these thoughts, then come and see me. I'm always here. My name is Tom Cusack. Thank you. Would you please say mass for Angela Brunetti? She passed away? She was my responsibility. She's a relative. feel guilty about her. Not now. Okay. Are you sorry for your sin? Of course. And for your penance, say a good contrition. And ten our fathers, and thank the Lord for the gift of life. By the ministry of the church, may you find reconciliation and peace, and I absolve absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. sign on the door doesn't say no sinners. It says $500 jackpot. So you, you think it's all right? If she wins big, she won't have to walk the street. Bingo! Hey, how do you do? How do you do? One more. Mama! Oh, Maria! I won $25. And how much did you spend on bingo cards? Oh, fa Father Cusa, you remember my oldest daughter, Maria? Hello again. <laughs> She doesn't like me to play bingo, but how else can an old woman make some money? Oh, this is uh, Father Simmons. He's new at St. Mary's. Right. Yeah, we gotta go, Mom. Um, tell her, Father, she should find a husband. And go to church. 
She works all day, all the time, even on Sundays. I'm sure her work's very important. Mama Nina's waiting in the car. We gotta go, okay? Would you oh. say hello to her for me? Yeah, yeah sure. Thank you. <laughs> Just because she has a car, she thinks she's the boss, huh? Well, Mama! Bye, bye, bye. All right, I'm coming! Wonderful tune, Mrs. Croce. Next week. I understand that Bingo is an important fundraiser. I'm a little concerned about some of the elements it brings to the church. Well, isn't that our job, Daniel? To bring people to St. Mary's and then try to help them? Good night. Thanks for coming. See you next week. Good night, folks. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Auditorium nostrum in nomine Domini, qui fece cielo et terram, exorciso te creatura salas, per Deum vivum, per Deum verum, per Deum sanctum. Pretty boy? Tony, don't. Come on, let's go outside. Everybody having a good time? Hi, Father. We're cool. Okay. You want to dance? Um, not right now, Tony. Nina? What's up, Terry? Hey. <laughs> You all right, Nina? Yeah, I'm fine. Some people just don't know what no means. Well, if you say no long enough, they'll get the idea. You dance? Not like that. Yeah. Well, come on, I'll show you. Now, you wouldn't have any fun. Yes, I will. Come on, I'll be the teacher. No. I've got to look after things. Why don't you dance with one of these guys? You don't take me seriously, do you? You think I'm just a child. Now we see you getting a little happy. You move your feet while your hands are clapping. Off the rhythm, couldn't get with you. But now we see you getting a little happy. You move your feet while your hands are clapping. Off the rhythm, couldn't get with you. Oh, you guys get out.
get out of here right now. Tony, go. All of you, out. to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The Lord be with you. And also with you. you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you remember me? I used to work at Sunrise House. Oh, yes. Lena Falcone. Uh, how's Father Murphy? I don't know. They laid me off two months ago. Uh, and I need a job, Father. I'll say a prayer. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Father. It's a good day. Daniel tells me that you're the one who decided not to call the police. No need to. They're just kids. Young people need guidance, controls. We have to set standards. If we'd waited till the police came, then someone might have gotten hurt. I have decided to start a new campaign. It's called God is Alive in the Heart of the City. We will make St. Mary's more visible to the community. More visible? That means more presentable. We could start by fixing the bells. We don't have the money for that, do we? Uh, I could uh, set up a PA system. We could use the tape. Go ahead. Follow through on that. I'm sorry, but how did the bells get to be such a high priority right here? The bells are a symbol of the church. Do you think you could have them ready by next week for the carnival? Yes, Monsignor. Thomas, I've decided to let Daniel take care of the publicity for the carnival. Is that okay with you? I don't want to step on any toes. No. Or anything that helps the scholarship fund. Then that'll be all. Is there anything else? No. Thomas, in the future, I expect you not to wear your blue so proudly. Can I see you for a minute? Oh, uh, sure, Nina. Come on in. Does it hurt, Father? Your eye? No, it's a lot better today. Thanks. Um, I brought you these. They're my sister's, and you need a prescription to get them. No, well, thanks. That's okay. I'm, I'm not going to take anything. Thank you. Oh, I can give you just a couple then. <gasps> I'm sorry, Father. It's okay. It's okay. Here. Father, can I ask you something? Yep, yeah, sure. How do you control who you love? I don't know. Well, 
What if you love the wrong person? It happens sometimes. I don't know what to do. Maybe it's best to do nothing. I'm sorry. These are stupid questions. No, they're not stupid questions. I'll see you in class tomorrow, okay? School's been up for 20 minutes. I had to see Father Cusack. About what? I just had to see him, okay? Nina, he's a priest. Did we get the afternoon paper yet? I don't know, Tom. Spiritu Tua. Deus, cuius verbo sanctificantur omnia, benedictionem tuam affundi super creaturam esta. Your Latin's very good. Are you a priest? I was ordained by fire. How did you know on Friday that Angela Brunetti was dead? They didn't find her body till yesterday. I am only responsible for her soul. Did you kill her? You must say mass for Rose Croce. Oh my God. Number four, eight, one, four. Tell me your sins. Betimus Grazia. Why?
So, you found the door open, you walked right in, and there was the deceased. Yes. How'd you get the bruise, Father? I broke up a fight at school. You knew uh, Rose Croce well? She was a parishioner, and her daughter's in my class at school. Why'd you go to her house? I had a confession. Mrs. Croce's? No. Whose confession was it? I can't tell you that. What can you tell us? Nothing. I wish I could, but I can't. How did you feel when you saw the blood? Oh, come on, please. Just answer the question. Look, I heard a confession and I went to her house. That's it. You expected to find her dead. I told you, I can't answer that. Father, we found some salt, a burning candle, and an oily substance on the deceased. Was there some kind of black mass performed? Mrs. Croce had been anointed with olive oil. Salt is used sometimes to get the oil off your thumb. It looked like she'd been given the last rites. So a priest did this? You're making an assumption. Whoever committed the homicide gave the deceased the last rites. I couldn't say. Who besides a priest would know the last rites? Well, anybody could go and buy a, <clears throat> a um, you know, a, a ritual book from a Catholic bookstore. They would have to know what to ask for, wouldn't they? Yes, yes, they would. Out. Come on, Bobby. Where are we going? You're going to the meditation room. What about my phone call? You made your phone call. Yeah, the line was busy. It happens. How long am I going to be in here? I wish I could tell you, but I can't. Take this turn the other cheek stuff too seriously, do you? Hey, man, what about me? Come on. Man, stay calm now. We have a car. This way, Father. Here he is, boss. Sit. Okay, what have we got here, Father? We have you at the scene of the crime. We have your fingerprints on the ashtray. We have an M.O. that makes it look like a priest that did it. Your alibi is that you have a confession that you can't tell us anything about. I get what you're doing, Lieutenant. You think if you charge me with a murder, then I'll tell you what I know to clear myself. But Don't say another word. Lieutenant Williams, I'm Robert Legault, attorney to His Excellency, the Archbishop. Come with me, Thomas. I'm not done with him yet. Yes, you are. Mr. Legault, I've got a serial homicide here. Let me explain something to you. Your priest is a material witness. A confession is confidential. It's like the relationship between a lawyer and his client, or a psychiatrist and his patient. As far as you're concerned, what goes on inside the confessional does not exist. He's still a suspect. If you have a case, then book him. Do you know the trouble you're in? You compromise yourself and St. Mary's. I have to say something to the family. No, that is not a good idea. I know it wasn't you. Sorry. Right. Nina, no. Maria. You heard his confession. This is not a subject for Why discussion. Why don't you tell them who he is? Look, I can't. I don't know who it is. That's enough. We're finished here. He knows! He knows! Come on, Ian. He didn't do anything. Thank you. 
to get into their apartment to do a blessing, and I don't want to disturb the family. A terrible thing that happened. Brought to you, father. All those women living alone like that. Something's gonna happen. I'll wait for you downstairs. Here, Lieutenant. It's a shame. They're really quite lovely. Do you know this woman? She was a parishioner, Lena Falcone. Did you get a confession about her? No. Meet Angela Bernetti. That's Lorraine Pankowski. Rose Croce. Christina Panera. How many more, Father? How many more? Tell me, Father. How many more have to die? speak Italian. Um, non parlo italiano. <laughs> he no here. He's not. Where is he? He no here. Why don't we just... He no here. Know. He no here. Take a look. Non ti preoccupare, mamma. Me ne occuperò. Who are you? My father, Tom Cusack. Your brother, Anthony. <coughs> what do you want? Do you know Rose Croce? I don't answer that kind of question. 
Did you know that she was murdered? I'm talking to you. Cut the cards. Cut the cards. I provide a service, Father, just like you. When something terrible happens to one of your parishioners, you pray together. You ask their faith in God's will. But for some, there is much confusion. So they come to me for a sign, and I deal the cards. What? The evil eye. It's on you. Por favor, Father, we don't hurt nobody. It's all right. Up the stairs to your left. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm John Bianchi. Welcome to the Society. Thanks. How's parish life treating you? Looks rough and tumble. Oh, oh, that's just a just a silly accident. Well, what can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who may have come through your order. What's his name? Well, that's just it. I, I don't know. I heard a confession from somebody who desperately needs help. And I think that he may have trained for the priesthood and possibly at this order. What makes you think he came through this society? I can't tell you that. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. Why not? Because the system isn't set up to find someone whose name you don't know and who may or may not have been in the society sometime. Well, look. I can't tell you anything specific because it came from a confession. But what I need to do is look through your records. May I do that? <laughs> the records are confidential. Well, could you at least give me a list of people who dropped out? What you're asking is out of the question. Yeah! Look, if I don't find this person, somebody else might die. Now, you gotta help me. I've got no place else to go. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do for you. Excuse me. Oh, by the way, give my best to Daniel Simmons. You're lucky to have him. He studied here? Yes. I will. Thank you. Give me the Archbishop's office, please. Dust and feathers. Doesn't anybody ever clean up here? So these are the new belts, huh? Yes, I've, I've set the system up before. Petimus Gratium. Oh, day you explore in the Colton Tendon. I didn't know you studied at the Society. I did. But John Bianchi says to say hi. Oh? No. When did you see John? You've been having some trouble breathing lately, haven't you? Well, I, I have asthma. When did you have your last confession? What are you talking about? Is there anything bothering you? Yes, Thomas. Your be 
behavior. Now, excuse me. I have to go downstairs and check the system. told you I was at your home yesterday. See, I was looking for something that would help me find this sick person. Why don't you make him go to the police? I'm trying to do that. You're supposed to move back to the apartment tonight. I can't go back there. All right. I can't. Okay. Told your sister? Yes. And she says we have to. You want me to talk to her? <laughs> no. She won't listen. She hates priests. She hasn't been to church since our father died. How could God let this happen? How? talking with Daniel. I think you've lost sight of our mission here. You are a priest, not a cop. You have a responsibility to this parish. I need you on the job. You can start by taking care of this. Listen to my words and nod. Are you sorry for your sins? I absolve you from your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Doctor. Nurse, check to see if pathology wants another biopsy. Yes, Doctor. Give it a good fight. What are you doing here? I'm getting ready to anoint him. Useless. Just to give him peace. Everybody dies full of pain and fear. And you think a little Hail Mary's gonna fix that? It's not that simple. What is your problem with me? An old man dies, you say a prayer. A mother is murdered, you say a prayer. You hide behind your rituals and you watch people die. The man is dying. You do everything you can to try to save his body. I'm doing everything I can to save his soul. I don't believe in souls. You're wearing a cross? My mother gave it to me. I don't think you should make Nina move back into your apartment yet. I don't really think it's any of your business. She came to me very upset. Oh, you thought that you could solve all of our problems for us, right? Just like you solved this old man's? Like you solved my mother's? You know what you can do? You can go to the police, you can tell them what you know, and then maybe you can save somebody. Somebody who's still alive. coming by. 
It's standard procedure, Miss Harney. May I come in? Oh, well, the place is a mess. It's, it's really a bad time. That's all right. We need an on-site appraisal of your personal belongings in order to process your application. Oh, okay. Come on in. Let me just turn this music down. Boy. It's really tough out there. I mean, I went on six job interviews today, and it's always, you know, overqualified, underqualified. Oh, I'm sorry. Does the smoke bother you? Where do you keep your jewelry? In the bedroom. Do you need to see my jewelry? Yes. Okay. It's all cheap stuff. I mean... It's just costume. It's not worth much. His Grace will be right with you. Well, Thomas. It's been a long time, Thomas. We're both a little uh, riper. <laughs> oh, I miss our conversations that we used to have when you were here at the Chancery. And I wish we could have had our reunion under more auspicious circumstances. Me too. I uh, had a call from John Bianchi of the Society of the Cross. Seems someone wanted to go through the seminary files like a detective. Yes, maybe I was a little impulsive. I do understand your actions are casting suspicion on your fellow priests. Or you mean on the church. Don't fence with me, Thomas. I want you to promise to stop your investigation. I just can't stand by and do nothing. But that's exactly what you have to do. When you became a priest, you set yourself apart from ordinary men. Well, this wasn't an ordinary confession. It doesn't matter. The sanctity of the sacraments is absolute. And even if they were to arrest someone you knew was innocent, you can't do it. I can't promise to stop looking for him. You're a good priest, Thomas. I'd hate to lose you. Maybe that's what this is about. Maybe I'm not supposed to be a priest anymore. 
Every priest has his faith challenged, profoundly challenged, at least once. I know, but I always thought the challenge would be the temptation for a woman or the desire for power. Not this. What will you do? I don't know. If you value your relationship with your students, your work in the community, all that you care about as a priest, your soul, I suggest you be very careful, Thomas. What do you want from me? The priest come to see me, playing detective. Cusack. Cusack is his name. He scared of my mother half to death. He asked me about Rose Croce. Who do I know? Why don't you ask him? You recognize the voice? Okay, let's book the voodoo man. Murder, first degree. He's not the man you want. That guy's a fortune teller named Anthony Volpe. That's an alias. His name's Carlo Mantini. I found traces of a prescription drug in confessional called Turbitol. Spectroscopic analysis show the same drug in a residue at one of the crime scenes. This brother Anthony, he uses a medication with Turbitol. I'm telling you. He's not the man you want. Well, then, we're back to go, waiting for another body to turn up. Daniel? Cusack. I know you're in pain. Talk to me. I'm not 
not here to threaten you. I'm here to help. He broke the rule. Who? Who did? The other one. He opened my door. To the confessional? He had no right. He was confused. You must say mass for Kate Harney. Did you murder her? She was offered. Like a sacrifice? Yes. I have your medicine. You have to help me. If you wanted, you have to come get it. Why are you doing this to me? I'm trying to show you that you're weak. If you're weak, you must be a sinner. But they tempted me! <laughs> get it. You didn't see anybody leave. Not from this side. We are right about one thing. The blood type of Kate Harney's is not Simmons. Not Simmons, not Cusack. We're going backwards here. What do we do now? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. You scared him away, Daniel. Scared him away? He stabbed me. You turned this killer into your personal crusade, Thomas. Don't pass it off on Daniel. I tried to stop him. By compromising the confessional? I don't ever want you to do that again. Now, let us pull together and get on with it. We have a church to run here. Excuse me, Monsignor. Yes, Lieutenant. We're all finished up now, but there is one more thing I'd like to ask. Yes? I think the killer is establishing a pattern. I think he's fixated on Cusack as his confessor and needs to confess, so... I'd like you to close the church. What? Close the church? Except for confession. Then when he comes back, we'll be here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. This is a house of God. You cannot take the mass away from the parish. The people of this community depend on us. Another one of your parishioners may die. St. Mary's is always open. Then I insist on a police presence now and even during the carnival if necessary. Everyone is always welcome in my church. I trust you will use discretion. Thank you. I hope we find him before he has something more to confess. What will we do if he does come back? Here is confession. back issues at the Society Sentinel. What year? June 1980. That would be in the library on microfilm.
Hello again. Nothing's changed here, Thomas. I just have one question. I have to be going. But on June 2nd, 1980, there was a fire in the dormitory here. You were the resident counselor. That was a long time ago. Well, I think you'd remember this. It wasn't a little wastebasket fire. It destroyed a whole room. Whose room was it? I really can't remember. Well, why don't, why don't you just take a minute and try to remember? Look, I had to counsel 90 students that term. I was an associate in the administrator's office, and my mother was terminally ill. Okay, you see that brown car down there? Right there. That's a cop. He followed me here. This looks bad for the society. No. If they question why I was here, I can say I came to borrow this book. But if I leave with nothing, I'll have to be evasive. Then they'll come to you. Confidential? Completely. His name was Paul Kay. Did he start the fire? He was a very impressionable young man who tried too hard. He was such a perfectionist. His mother brought him up alone. They were very close. I understand she caught him with a girl experimenting. He tried to make it up to her by going into the seminary. But she died during his first term. One day, he piled everything he owned into the middle of the room, poured alcohol on it, set it on fire. Why? I don't know. It was like he was trying to shed his past. Do you have any idea where he is now? No. After he left the seminary, we lost track of him. I'll bring it back. Please have a seat. I'm late for work. Will this take long? Well, let's see what we can do. <clears throat> this is Rose Croce's file. She was my mother. Why are you here? My mother died several days ago. Yes, we've been notified. I'm sorry. Um, my sister's only 16, and um, so she still qualifies for aid to dependent children. I'm a guardian, and uh, I guess the future checks will have to be made out to me. Yes. Yes, of course. Fill out this form, please. I'm truly sorry for your loss. Will this take long to process? Normally two to three weeks, but under the circumstances, I'll handle your case personally. My name is Paul Kay. Is that all? Yes, for now. Thank you.
Nina, get back in here. Right no, now. no, you can't tell me what to do, okay? I hate it here. What's the matter? This is family business. She treats me like You're a baby. I'm 16. Oh, can we go inside? Inside. inside? No, she won't listen to me. Have you tried listening to her? Why are you on her side? Nina, you're sisters. You have to take care of each other. Otherwise, you're all alone. I don't alone. care. I don't care. Nina. Nina. Let's go into a friend's house. Why are you here? I need your help. You're still looking for him? Yes, and I think that I can find him. I need to look through your mother's belongings again. I think I can find a connection somewhere. And if you make a connection and you find him, what are you going to do? I don't know. But I'm not going to let him kill again. Thank you. So, uh, what do you get out of this? I mean, you could just teach school, say your prayers, and go to heaven someday. Well, I like teaching, but we have other responsibilities, too. Right, all those ceremonies, huh? That's not what I meant. People will come to us for help. I think we can make a difference in their lives. And that's why you became a priest? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I thought that, um... That you had to have some special kind of faith or something. I don't know if there is such a thing. I'm struggling to make sense of my faith all the time. You want some coffee? Yes, I would. Thank you. I don't have a choice. I know. Could, could you let me into the offices just for a minute? No. I can't let anybody in here, Father. I've got to get in there. It's very important. It's the regulations, Father. If I let you in, I could lose my job. Okay. Is there any chance you could make an exception? Sorry, Father. It's the rules. Thanks. Come back in the morning.
it back to Johnson. Over to Muir. Back to Johnson. Some good passing going on right now by the Red Wings. It goes back to Hurley. Over there. No good. Shot on the goal. Wide to the right. And we have an icing. Department of Human Resources, Income Maintenance. Good morning. Yes, what do you want? I need some additional forms signed. I told your sister, Maria, that I'd be by. Oh, well, she's not here right now. We can't release the checks until these forms are signed. Well, can you leave them and she'll get them back to you? I guess that would be all right. I'll have to show you how to fill them out so they're done correctly. Well, I, I won't be here when she gets back, so... Then I'd better leave a note. All right. But I'm in a hurry. Spiritu Sancti. How long has it been since your last confession? Have you killed again? What are your sins? You're not a priest. You have corrupted yourself and betrayed me. I haven't told anybody anything. You have betrayed the priesthood. You have to turn yourself in while you still have a chance. It's the only way you can save your soul. Didn't you feel it? Feel what? The damnation of their bodies. Who are you talking about? Are there more bodies? Are there more? Tell me. Do not deny me. <laughs> All right. Come out very slowly with your hands clasped above your head. 
I'm warning you! give you a victim, right? Nina Croce. No. Yeah. Super broke in before he could finish the job. She's still alive. No. No. Give him up, Father. He's not worth it. No. Father, give him to me. Why can't you find him, huh? I mean, why'd he put it all on me? You got an entire police force. Why don't you find him, huh? I can't do anything about it! You get him! You get him! Coming to work on a day off this penance, I should get credit. Yes, you should. Thank you so much for coming in, Mrs. Duffy. Are you all right, Father? Sure. Fine. Um, now I'm looking for someone who may have bought some collars here from you. What was the name? Paul K. When did he order? I don't know. Could, could I look through there? Help yourself. Thank you. Paul K., Society of the Cross. A cassock, a box of Roman collars. How did he pay for these? Cash. What does this check mean here? It means it's on back order. We were all out of the cotton collars. He was fanatic about not wanting the polys. So when they came in, we were supposed to deliver them. Where? St. Regis. Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Come 
Come on, anybody work here? Hello? What do you want? Paul Kay's room number, please. 109. Is he in? I'm so sorry to hear about Nina. Is she going to be all right? Let's hope so. Thanks. Father? How is she? She's out of intensive care. She's gonna be okay. Great. Um, she asked about you. They know who he is now. They're gonna get him soon. You told them? Might as well have.
Thomas Cusack. He's going away? He's not a real priest. I don't... Sanctificanto Romnia, benedictionem tuam et funde supercrientur amistam. Ugh. <sighs> 